Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. We are going to explore how to efficiently export data to Excel files in Angular application using powerful XLX library. We will cover everything from setting up the library to creating a dynamic Excel file your users can download with just one click. So first of all, open your Angular project. In the editor, I am using VS Code. You can create a new project if you want to. and Open the terminal in the root directory of your project and run this command npm install xlsx. Okay, uh, you can just copy this command from here and press enter. This simple command installs xlsx as project dependency. Now we will import the xlsx library next in the Angular component where you wish to add Excel export functionality. So we will keep this tutorial very simple. Uh, we will just use the app component and here I will import the XLSX. So this imports various functionalities of XLSX library necessary for our operations. Let's prepare our sample data. Consider we have an array of objects, each representing a row in our resultant Excel file. So for that, let's define a variable data is equal to the type would be name string age string uh, age might be number and city should be string and this should be an array of objects is equal to an array and here we will have multiple objects you can have more objects or your data structure can be different so each object property will map to the column in the excel file now let's generate the excel file so first of all i will create a function export to excel and here I will add the constant worksheet. The type of the worksheet is XLSX worksheet. And we are calling the JSON to sheet function and we have passed the data to it. So this will give us the sheet. And then we will create a new workbook and append our worksheet to it. So for that, let's create a constant workbook. The type is XLSX dot workbook and is equal to xlsx dot utils dot book underscore new so this will call that function and create a workbook for us and after that we will append the sheet to it so we have called the book append sheet function from the utils property of xlsx and passed the workbook worksheet and the name of the sheet so you can change the name of the sheet as well to whatever you want and now we will trigger the file download to initiate the download. So we will use this line of code xlsx write file and we will pass the workbook as the, for, as the first argument and we will pass the name of the file that needs to be exported. So this command prompts the user's browser to download the file with this name. Now we will trigger the export in the angular template so you can attach this function to a button so let's open the html file and here i will simply add a button and you export to excel and here i will add the click event and then we will call our function export to excel okay save it so clicking on th this button will execute export to excel function and the excel file will be generated and downloaded instantly so let's try that i just click on that and you saw that it immediately downloaded the file and if you click on that the excel file would be opened and we will be able to see the data there okay you can see we got all of our data in the excel file we have the column names name age and city these column names are matching with the property properties of these objects so it is totally dynamic you can add more fields as well to make more columns all right that's it you now know how to implement data to export excel in angular application using excel sx library feel free to experiment with the library's functionalities to customize your excel exports further i hope that i provided you some value and a starting point so you can use this knowledge to create your applications. 
If you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos and also please like and share this video. And if you have any questions or feedback or thoughts to share then please leave them in the comment section below. I would be happy to reply them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.